Amanda, get out here. I don't think you're gonna want to be here for this. Be seen with me after this. Huh? Oh god, you're not going to. I throw my car keys at Amanda. I'll get right back to Joseph. Just remember I am right now. Not as what I'm about to become. Mm -hmm. Am I, <laughs> I gonna pull out some dad dance moves? Let's fucking go. Mm -hmm. Nice knowing your pops. <laughs> It's like I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to another shenanigans. My name is Benji. This is Dream Daddy. And <sighs> I don't know if I just want to make the rounds. I'm still thinking about what happened with Mary. So I'm thinking we might hang out with Joseph today. See see if Mary says anything. We'll do that. See what's up. Yo, Joseph, what's up with your wife? He okay? Yeah, I, I truthfully I did think she was a bit of a a bit of a something and um I don't know I suppose maybe she's just lonely stuff isn't working out with Joseph as well looks like there's a sit in a box of like, brownie mix that reminds me I wonder what Joseph's up to let's see if he wants to hang out or if he wants to go to the store with me and use these coupons looks like he's online sup bruh wanna hang uh, hope you finally recover from your brownie-induced coma. I know I promised you a fun hang, but tonight is actually chaperoning a youth group mixer. Amanda's invited, of course. If you're not doing anything, you should come. And be a chaperone with me. Yeah, that's nice. I'm bummed out, of course. I'm supposed to just do something to Joseph meantime. Maybe I'll know him. Maybe to get to know him a little better. Ah, what the heck. Friend needs my help. I type back. Just tell me where and I need to be tonight. Joseph lets me in on the details. That's pretty soon. I should get ready. I knock on Amanda's door and peek in. Amanda Panda! I'm about to head out. Where are you off to? Are you going to extreme couponing? I'm actually going to go show up your own youth mixer dance thing that's happening at Joseph's church. He says you're invited, but if you don't want to come, I'll cover for you. Hmm. You know what? I'm down. Maybe make some new friends. That's a good attitude. But have you know, I'm also doing the potential for free food. Thank you, Amanda. You had four daughter points today. <laughs> Can I trade that in for a daughter lava lamp? Sorry, you only have enough for a daughter spider ring. Uh, some of those daughter plastic jumpy frogs. I like those things. Yeah, they, they try their hardest. It's super inspirational. God. Uh, arrive at the church and find that nobody's here. There are decorations of balloons and banners and everything, but no youths. Ah, hmm. uh, you want to read what that banner says there? It says Jesus is coming. It's, I, you, you, I, you, you see that? It, Jesus has come. Okay. Uh, <laughs> a couple dances in my life, uh, but not that I had to paint myself like a core dance expert. But generally, dances require people, yeah. and those people need to be dancing. All of a sudden, Joseph jogs up to us. He looks frazzled. You're here! I need your help. Joseph gestures a hand-painted banner hanging above the church. <laughs> says, Jesus is coming! <laughs> Jesus is coming! Well, that's, uh, certainly a thing. God made all things, Amanda. Except for the banner. Ernest made that. <laughs> I genuinely can't tell if he was trying to be malicious or he just can't spell for good. Uh, you know what? Uh, you know what God does? He forgives. He forgives teenagers and he never ever break, oh, breaks their box mods. Hmm. You're going to break Ernest's box mod? <laughs> no, Amanda, that would be a sin. Hmm. I think. It's right up there after Sloth. Yeah. Benji, I need you to help me getting this down before anyone sees it. And swing that. Amanda, can you help? Huh? Physical labor? Huh? Hmm. Mm. Amanda begins rapidly scanning a mostly empty room, looking for an escape route of her own. I have to go set up the food. Oh. Food's already set up. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a final inspection and pass on the food. Make sure it's all up to code. Mm. I'm eat your food. Amanda's able to bolt away before myself and Joseph can get another word in. <laughs> I'm read all your book when she wants to. Father has a giant pair of legs. Or was a giant pair of legs. <laughs> I did giant arms once, and it turned out they were all right. I must have been devastated. It was Armageddon. Oh. God, God damn it, Joseph. No, it's... I get it. Oh. I'll workshop it. There's a gem in there somewhere. <laughs> I'm really glad you're here, Benji. 
You enjoying my company or you just lure me for your strong arms and height advantage? A little both. Always something with you, Joseph. Nice. Something handsome and poise? Ah, yeah, you're not that poise. Yeah. P pious. P po poise? Pious. Debatable. You just alluded to breaking a child's vape pen. Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't. I would have lost that bait. Hmm. Ready to do this? Make some magic happen. Yeah. Magic isn't real, Benji. God said that. I was also a bush one time. Oh. True. Joseph. <laughs> I feel like me and Joseph have like a love hate thing about this because I definitely would be like, yeah, he was also a bush. Yeah. Uh, I'll grab a step ladder and walk over to Ernest's banner. That turd Ernest with one final trick up his sleeve. It looks like the nightmare is stapled and taped six ways from Sunday. Any ideas? Douglas. What happened to your strong arms and height advantage? Uh, right. I forgot about those. I realize my oversized dad fingers are too large to get leverage on the tiny staples. Got a hammer I can use to pry these off? Benji, this is a church. We're a little nervous around hammers. And nails. God damn it, Joseph. <laughs> I'm kidding, we just don't have a hammer. <laughs> we have to hurry, the youth will be here any moment and I need to, uh, I've never heard the end of it if we don't fix this. Wait, I have an idea. I'm gonna grab a marker that Ernest used to draw this thing coming back from the ladder. Can't come down, so I'm sending a different message. But we could, but we could send a different message. I only got one shot here, let's do this. Uh, Jesus! I say, is it going to take the G off? No, uh, uh, Jesus is calming. They're able to turn the U into an A and L somehow. Oh, it, it's a little tight, but it works. It, it, it. Well, that's true, I guess. Bask in his calming presence, Joseph. Relax. Christ is averted. Let's just hope the youths don't notice. Yeah, how the fuck did that go from a U to an A? Uh, Joseph checks his watch. DJ should be here by now. Just then, door swings open, a man struts with his DJing equipment. Wait, you're not the usual guy. What happened to Evan? Evan uh, knew exactly when to play the Cuba Shuffle. Alright! Hey, hey, I'm not Evan. Evan sold off his DJ equipment to backpack through Europe, so I'm filling in for him. Do envy him, though. Well, I wouldn't give to drop everything to start over. Haha! <laughs> Are you. Alright! I am so sad. I am so sad. <laughs> oh my god. I think that's Brian. <laughs> I guess I think that's Ninja Brian doing the voice for this guy. <laughs> I'm better than all right. I'm DJ Spinmaster Quinn. <sighs> he sighs heavily. I am sad. <laughs> I am sad. <laughs> oh my god, this is hilarious. <laughs> I usually do trivia nights, but I moonlight on one of those two. Uh give me a sense of purpose in life. Is he? He is not okay. Oh. Well, you'll have to do. I have a playlist of fun songs to use that won't inspire impure thoughts or tempt them to the dark side, right? <laughs> DJ thinks for a moment. Believe me, buddy, I got what you need. Yeah. Okay, great. I'll let you get set up. DJ leaves. Oh. Keep an eye on this one. <laughs> ah, he sounded like he was gonna play Creep by Radiohead on repeat. Oh my god. After some kind, kids from the community start filling into the dance hall. Uh, some of them seem to notice our sign hack, and they don't seem to care. Some of the kids group off in tiny clusters, standing in circles and canceling sideways glances at other groups of teens. Man, I do not miss being a teenager at social functions. Hey, 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 party people! Everyone in the room turns their attention to the DJ. <laughs> Coming at you with the sound the people want. We're off to a good start. Next year is that all the ladies in the uh, uh, Ladies, let me hear you say yeah! A few half-hearted yeahs echo through the crowd. Hey. All right! Hey. <laughs> he sighs again. I am... Um, been a heavy couple days. This next one is actually gonna, just for my wife, Sandra. I hope we can work things out, you little honeysuckle vine. Now, who wants to listen to Riddick? <laughs> Shit! We fucked up! We fucked up, Joseph! Amanda slides up next to me, pizza in one hand and punch in the other. Creep, huh? Bold choice for a youth group. Let's see how he goes with this. After the song finishes, he plays Creep again. The DJ crying? You catch the kids- if you watch the kids really closely, you can catch them cringe every time from your in space. There you go! Maybe you should do something about this. Uh, Joseph runs up to us. He's killing the vibe. They're listening to swears. Sad swears. Oh. I have to do something. 
I just gotta give him a pep talk. Maybe work him up to everybody hurts by Ram. At the very least, no rain by Blind Melon. Yeah, help us cheer him up. Uh, actually, I just saw my friend, uh, Fred. Frederick. Frederico! Frederico? He's from Latin. I didn't know you were talking, taking a Latin class. I'm not! It's from the country Latin. Yes, it exists. Don't Google it. You can go, Amanda. It's fine. And she's gone. My feelings hurt. Oh, Jesus Christ, this fucking DJ. Joseph and I make our way to the DJ booth where Spin Master Quinn is having a quiet cry. Hey, bud, dude. That's the good stuff. Is the party jamming? It's, uh, not. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry, fellas. I'm just taking a moment to find my groove. Hey. I play the sad tunes properly and pre uh, appreciate the bangers, right? Uh, that's not how DJing works. Oh, Jesus, what a fortune. I <laughs> play the booty bumpers. Ah! Uh, I, I, that's not how DJ. Uh, now stop me if I'm in a line here, but since I've never been a DJ and don't have current plans to become one, I don't think that's how it works. The kids came here to have a good time. You gotta cool with them to tell them. Hey, buddy. That's a problem you're having with... Hey. Joseph leaves in close to me. What's his wife's name again? Uh, Sandra. <laughs> if you have problems with Sandra, I'd help you too. I do counseling. It's my job here. I'm very good at it. Bang, bang. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I can tell that you're hurting. Nobody voluntarily listens to that much radio head on repeat unless they're really going through some tough times. Trust me, I know. Yeah, Joseph places his hand on Spin Master Quinn's shoulder, who immediately collapses into Joseph's embrace, crying quietly. Hey, there, bud. It's gonna be okay. Uh, thank you. I'll... I'll put some dance hall fans in. You're the best, Spin Master Quinn. With yet another crisis averted, Joseph and I return to the dance floor, where Amanda's waiting, uh, with an ice cream cone. Hey, have ice cream here. Good work, Amanda. How's it looking out there? Well, for a dance... Not a whole lot of dancing. Looks like people are starting to bail, though. This is a disaster. Hey. Don't be so hard on yourself. This ice cream? Top notch. Oh. Sorry for dragging you into this, Benji. You and Amanda should just go home. I'm not gonna make you stay here for a train wreck. No, a disaster. We can still fix this. We can. I suddenly realize what we have to do. Amanda, get out here. I don't think you're gonna want to be here for this. Be seen with me after this. Huh? Oh god, you're not going to. I throw my car keys at Amanda. I'll get a ride back to Joseph. Just remember where I am right now. Not as what I'm about to become. Mm -hmm. Am I, <laughs> I going to pull out some dad dance moves? Let's fucking go. Mm -hmm. Nice knowing your pops. <laughs> it's like I'm going to fucking die. <laughs> she runs out the door. Oh, Joseph, I'm going to turn it up on the dance floor. I ain't like we'll get these youths into it as well. Are you in or out? Joseph stares at me. He knows what has to be done as much as I do. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I need to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. <laughs> see, see you on the other side? See you on the other side. Joseph and I walk into the dance floor in the middle of the room. The youths all stare at us, unsure what we're doing. Time to get our groove on. Let's set them off easy and work our way to the top for more technical stuff. Uh, start the lawnmower. Yeah! Start the lawnmower! Get this arm going! Yeah! I rip this turbos, <laughs> maybe I start lawn mowing the dance floor. <laughs> Just seems to respond to that and decides to mow another patch of grass on the dance floor. <laughs> That's stuff. I look around. Well, it looks like it got everyone's attention. Alright, Benji, let's turn up the heat. Uh the no, the the, the sprinkler. Just yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Ah, yeah! I pull out a classic! Head behind the head! Finger pointed out! I point out and make direct eye contact with several of the youths in the room. I think that makes them feel uncomfortable, but I push past it. <laughs> Joseph understands. We must water the lawn. It has come off the end of imaginary drought and the grass is dying. Don't worry, imaginary grass. We got you. I look around the youths. They're getting into it! <laughs> nice work, but we need to pick it up or we're gonna lose interest quick. Uh... Uh, oh, okay. I don't know the Cabbage Patch. I, don't, I need- Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put a pause on this. I'm looking up the Cabbage Patch. I was gonna say, yeah, it's, it's, it's a thing. I'm not stupid. It's a thing. It's a thing! Um, uh, but the wind- the windmill, is that just like... Fuck it, we're doing the Cabbage Patch. I apologize, I'm- 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 I'm, I'm not- I'm not- I don't know the- the, the things. Yeah. Never go wrong Cabbage Patch. Joseph follows my lead. We take both our arms and move them around in a circle. 
as I assume you would do in a cabbage patch. Look at these. I think they like agriculture. They're not looking too lively yet, but we can still turn it around. Oh, hell, attempt twerking. Hell yeah. If I, I, can I save? Can I save right now? I want to do the twerking. I need to know. I need to know. Attempt twerking. Twerking is still a thing kids do, right? I gyrate my butt. Oh, this feels bad. It was really rough, rough on my lower back. Several other kids have their heads in their hands. One kid is filming with his phone. My career in politics is over. Alright, maybe Trigger wasn't the best choice. Uh, no, we're, we're going back. I'm, I'm loading that safe back. Hold on. I uh, know, Moonwalk. We're, do we're doing, uh, uh, you know, Moonwalk. Start sliding my feet backwards. I can't tell if it looks good or not, but I think these kids have seen enough people doing moonwalks that they understand the general concept. <laughs> Joseph makes a moonwalk attempt as well. Surprisingly, dude pulls off flawlessly. Look around at the use. They're cheering. Hell yeah. Time for the big finish. Ah. Uh... Yeah, dirty dancing style. Hell yeah. You are the dancing queen. <laughs> Motion for about to lift him up. Are you strong enough to do that? I don't know! Without regard for human safety, I summon all of my light and lift Joseph above my head. It isn't quite dirty dancing, but Joseph is a good sport and spreads his arms while I spin him in a circle. I look at the crowd. They seem to love it. The kids swarm the dance floor. They're all laughing and dancing to the music. Looks like our job here is done. Somewhat amazingly, <laughs> kids take to the dance floor and start to move around. Uh, before long, they're all laughing and enjoying themselves. Starting to laugh and enjoy themselves. Sorry. Uh, it was dicey. We've jo done our jobs. The rest of the chaperones can take from here. What? I have something to show you. Joseph leads me out of the main room down various darkened corridors to the church. I barely see anything and find myself tripping over my own feet. Joseph, I think I lost you. His, fine ha his hand finds mine in the darkness. I'm ready. I'm glad you can't see me blush. We keep walking. Where are we? This church is huge. We're almost there. I actually have to admit that I'm a little dishonest with you. I didn't just invite you here to help me chaperone. What happened to lying and being with the ten things you weren't supposed to do? I think there's an exception for him trying to surprise a friend. Joseph closes the door behind us. Uh, we're in a random room in the depths of the church now. What could possibly have planned? Last time we talked about escaping to an island where we could live out our easy, easy tropical lifestyle. Our only worry is for finding a lost shake or salt. Since we can't actually do that, I figure I'd bring you a little bit of the tropics to Maple Bay. Not look right at Margaritaville, but something like it. Joseph throws the lights on. <laughs> Welcome to the Margarita Zone. Look around, just my eyes are light. It's an office, but there's twinkle lights across the walls, like garland and fake flowers, and two beach chairs set up in front of the desk. There's a blender and two glasses sitting on the table. You can uh, music plays softly in the background. Joseph, this is... This is amazing. Yeah. There's no pop-up top set up here, bud. You did this for me? Joseph takes a seat and gestures for me to do the same. <laughs> I did this for us. I think we both earned it. Settle in while Joseph pours both margaritas. <laughs> you really went all out. <laughs> I have to flare for the dramatic. I have a flair for the dramatic and can't leave the community if you don't know how to make a good margarita. Take a sip of mine. This is a killer margarita. I would follow this, man. You think the dance is gonna go okay with our kids' our sick dance moves? No, not here. You're missing the port of the Margarita Zone. Margarita Zone is a place to rest and relaxation. The place where you can kick your feet up and forget about your worries for a while. Ah, uh, watch out for blown up flip flops, get tattoos and mixed cuties. Uh, with an onion slice. I don't, I don't know that. Uh, blown up flip flops. It's a real fear. Thankfully, no heels will be cut in my version of, of Margarita Zone. No suggestions to me make a makeshift island bar he's made. Yeah. You know, it's funny. Reminds me so much when I was younger. I didn't mean to ask. What'd you do before you started preaching? It's uninteresting. I left home young and got into a lot of trouble. What kind of trouble? Trouble meant I got, uh... Trouble meant I got to go wherever I wanted, whenever I wanted. I hitchhiked around the country, went on adventures, met all kinds of people. Did some stuff I'm not too proud of. But I was young and in love and didn't answer to nobody. 
Now, I host fundraiser car washes and take kids to soccer practice on the weekends. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to get heavy here. It's okay. Seems like you spend a lot of time taking care of others, but not enough time taking care of yourself. You need to talk about it, I'm here for you. Joseph stares deepingly in the blender filled with ice and margarita mix. It's just, I think about Margarita Laville a lot, or I get the concept of it. A place where I can strum my six string while I wait for a shrimp to boil, drink margaritas all the time, forget my worries. It's an easy life. I had Margarita Ville once. I think the closest I ever got back to is Margarita's own. A short occasional reprieve from daily life. Is that such a bad thing? This is pretty nice. Doesn't last forever, that's the rub. When you're in Margarita Zone, it's not like your problems that really go away. You're just choosing to ignore them. Uh, Maybe you're looking at the wrong way. Maybe Margarita Zone is actually better than Margaritaville because Margaritaville itself is an impossible ideal. Remember what Spin Mesha Quinn said? Sometimes you play the sad tunes to appreciate the bangers? Step out onto a pop top is your biggest concern. We would possibly appreciate the boring trip. Hmm. hmm. Margarita Zone isn't landlocked to your office. I think it's about finding little pieces of Margarita Zone throughout your day and taking joy in those moments. That's awfully optimistic of you. Doesn't have to be anything big. For me, I think it's being able to quiet, do word jumbles, and drink some strong coffee in the morning. See my daughter smile, or I smile at Joseph. Spend some quality time with a good friend. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I feel myself leaning closer to Joseph. Is it just me, or is he leaning closer too? Joseph tenses up. Uh, he downs the rest of his margarita and hops out of his chair. It's getting late. We should head back. Sure. Joseph and I make sure uh, Drance wraps without in incident before he takes me back to the cul-de-sac. Hop out of Joseph's car before he pulls into his own driveway. Thanks again for the help. Thanks again for Marjorie's zone. Maybe we'll go back there one day. If we do, it'll be uh, my own damn fault. As, uh... As a joke, as a joke. Chuckles and drives away. Mm. Walk in the living room and find a man curled up under a blanket and groaning on the couch. Hey, Panda, you doing okay? <sighs> Ad, I have a tummy ache. Ate too much youth group food? <sighs> I drank too, <laughs> drank too deeply from the wall of life, now I pay the price. Mm. By wall of life, I mean the big lukewarm punch bowl of seltzer juice and sherbet. And just slides on the floor with an elegant groan. Bien, kiddo. Time machine to go back approximately two hours in the past so I can warn myself of the folly ex excess. Pour you a glass of water. Love you, pops. How'd the dance go? Oh, I crushed it. Got the kids on the dance floor at the expense of my dignity. Fair trade. Also, everything hurts. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning, kiddo. Night, dad. <laughs> that's, that's about how to go. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I think if I would have uh, stuck with the twerking, it would have gone so well. Oh, what time is it? That was great. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But trust no one. Dead 1036, trust no one. Ah, what the hell's going on? I've been bonding with the community at Jim and Kim's lately, so my strolls have been leading me there more and more often. Peter the man from the bank, Keith from down the street, Evelyn who I saw at the deli at one time, and the guy whose name I think is Carl are basically members of the family at this point. All regulars at the bar. In fact, I heard Neil Asuri, bartender, mention that tonight is Keith from downtown the street's birthday and you have to get a little baby, a little cake for a special little day. I think he was probably just being a dick if I head to the bar anyway. Mere possibility a cake is strong enough to lure me in. Step inside, just time to see Neil washing cake tray the crime scene, only the pink icing of it. Huh. I it really is Keith from downtown's birthday, and I missed it. I sat down and order a beer. I sit down, I notice Mary from next door sitting they Okay, we just talked to Joseph, I wanna see what Mary was doing, but here we are. Been having a rough day. I'm so weary and so sad. Been doing this more and more often lately. Pang of guilt shakes through me. Did she know? Is this about me? Am I a homewrecker? Say hi! I gotta go say hello. Why'd the music cut out, by the way? It's, it's weirdly silent now. The seat taken? Still doesn't look up. That's when she... Okay. Oh. 
Oh, this may not be the best idea. Hi. Ah. Having fun with your new best friend, Joseph? Uh, he's a great... So glad, I'm happy for you two. Mary, I'm not... Hey. Never accuse you of anything, uncouth Benji. I just having an innocent, very platonic time with my husband. Support of friendship. Ugh. You're a good friend, aren't you? There when he needs me, Mary. Yeah. You need help with the bake sale? You need help with this? Seems like an okay guy. Uh. Okay, so you're next bro on my mar Jesus Christ. Um I'm not trying to be an expert on your marriage, and I'm, I'm not apologizing for that, but... Uh, just trying to be there for my friend, okay? No, you're there for him. I see how you look at him. Are you there for him a lot? Takes a long sip of her drink. You know, you're really not his type. I'm surprised. Mary pays her tab and strides out of Jim and Kim's without looking back. She pissed! Welcome. You got that. What the fuck that was about? I don't know what the hell. Okay. Maybe Mary still is a bitch. I was just trying to hang out with Joseph. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. We will see you guys in the next one, wherever the fuck that is. I don't know what I did to piss Mary off. I hang out with my bud. Oh, I don't fucking know. Whatever. That's Mary's damn problem. But we will see you guys in the next one. These are still coming about, about every week. So if you're wanting to stick around and see them, make sure to like and subscribe down below. Check out our Discord link. i let you guys know when I'm streaming, which is about twice a week, but it's not very consistent on days, I'll admit. Um, so yeah, we'll see you whenever the next video comes out. The deuces.